So I remember failing at business for years. I mean, I read all the books, all the self-development, business, entrepreneurship books. But I remember really just wanting to create a life where I had total control. It was after my latest failure of my last two businesses that I really felt like I was hopeless and I was going nowhere. So I was sitting at home, I was crying myself to sleep. Yep, grown man, crying myself to sleep on the floor. And I had this crazy dream that said, you create the world around me. I remember waking up and I said, I don't really know what to make of that dream. But I said to myself at that point, it's time to really get serious about this and go all in. So in 2015, I incorporated my business, Cineverse Incorporated. And my whole goal was just to help people create a future where they're in control. But I knew that I had to go out there and find success myself. I remember when I first got out there, I was putting up content, putting out videos, just trying to get this message out there to reach people, to meet people, so they can understand about business. But I had the idea that I would go work with one of my friends and help him build his business up so we could really be successful. The portfolio, where's mega event, right? That's one thing in your portfolio. Don't rely just on that. You get weekly events that you keep going maybe six weeks. We can systematize it so we got people to help with this and all this, right? You got the out of town stuff we plan. We got the, uh, the night on the town with the in crowd. We do the, the cars and all the crazy stuff we talked about. We got the tours where we take people to other places. We got the exclusive mansion parties or whatever. The first business that I got into was promotion. Now my good friend was Willpower. But at that time, he was really just getting started. Yeah, and I'm leaving my mom house just catch. I thought I was lying on my documentary. Hey, we won't be here for long. And we would literally go out and build this company from scratch. I remember some nights we would go out maybe six to seven nights a week. <sighs> Man, guys, another day we at it, taking a bunch of action. Just left Black and Bougie at engine room tonight. It was crazy. It was lit. We'd be out there literally cold approaching girls, going and talk to them just to try to get them to come to our venue. I mean, people would literally laugh at us that we were even trying to get around and do anything in business or parties and promotion. I remember the first big opportunity we got was with Matthew Knowles, which is, if you don't know, that's Beyonce's dad. We got a chance to work at his venue. And I remember going into this meeting and feeling like this was a turning point because I was finally meeting somebody who could help me get to the next level. So I remember us doing this event. It was called Play Houston. It was an amazing event. We had all kinds of special guests come out, celebrities, and it was our first chance to get to that higher level. But even after all that, um, we've reached our first failure because we just really didn't have that organization that was gonna allow us to be successful. But after that, that shut down, I remember us still going out and trying to do promotion. We had this major event that came up. It was called Grad Season. It was one of the biggest parties in Houston at the time. There'd never been anybody who got all the schools from the surrounding areas in one big graduation party. So I remember us doing all kinds of promotion for this. We even shot a whole film, a movie, a real movie for this. And I thought that this was gonna be the event that really created a major shift. I remember sitting there the day of the event and seeing everything start to go wrong. And at the end of it, I had that realization that the real problem we were facing is that we needed more structure. So I decided to go back to the drawing board. Then you maximize that concept. That's really what it comes down to. So if we doing that, bro, I'm telling you, that's what it comes down to. That's why these six laws were created. And with these six laws, bro, we can really change everything. Now, I had read so many books at this time that I said, you know what, what if I condensed all my knowledge into a course and really test the theories I thought about business to see if this was successful? So I came up with my first free course. I gave it away for free, which was The Entrepreneur, where I literally brought in people and allowed them to learn my process for absolutely free. All right, so everybody, welcome to The Entrepreneur, and I'm so excited for you to be a part of this. Now, this is a beta course, and I'm testing out this information, so you're going to be the first to experience it. I had my good friend who actually worked with me on grad season at the time. His name was DJ, Daryl Edmond. Everybody knows him as Country Cowboy on Instagram. He came to me, he was literally the first person who came to me and said, whatever you're talking about, I'm all in. And I remember him starting his first business and trying it out and seeing the quickest success I'd ever seen from using this process. Has, how many employees are you managing right now? I'm managing 300 
Excuse me, just read the uh, updates this morning. We're currently at 400 employees with six managers. And it was just crazy to me because I was saying to myself, well, what if I took this process to other people? So after that, um, we saw that the business and stuff that we were doing was so good that we decided to partner after that. We released our first podcast, which was Mama's House and Penthouse, where literally we would take stuff and learn how to, or would teach people how to build successful businesses. But when they go from their mama's house to the penthouse, that's what we about to show them. Not, not, look, not, oh, well, you know, I'm just gonna talk about it vaguely. How to actually do it, how, how we that, actually did it, and how you can actually do the same thing. And that's one of the things that I learned from him as well. It's like, people always kept telling me, well, just, 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 you can do this, you can do that. But how? What, what's the step? Me and him made a pact that we were gonna learn how to do things like online marketing and digital marketing in order to help people be successful. So I remember us sitting down. This was back, still in my mother's house. He was he was he would come to my house on the north side. And we... Late in the morning. We've been working for how many hours straight? Twelve hours straight. I just, oh shit, I'm hallucinating right now. Starting to see unicorns. We literally work 10, 12, 18 hour days. Down south is where I stay. Switch four lanes. Never know hey. We going on 15, no. How many hours? Damn, the bell rung. Get back to y'all later. Just trying to learn how to build marketing, how to be successful. You know, and that was difficult. You know, we had a lot of failures and setbacks. We released products that didn't work. We did everything, and it felt like that there was nothing that was going to ever break. But by that time, we should be able to give him a job. Make sense? Mm-hmm. And I remember we sat back and went to the drawing board, and we created a product because everybody was on Instagram. We said, why about, why about we create a product on Instagram that would allow people to grow their Instagrams and be successful? So I remember in September, we sat down, and I said, this month, I'm going to do it. We're going to have a money tree. So I built this out. I mean, worked tireless nights. I mean, sometimes I was working 18 hours to get it up. And I remember sitting there, we put it up, we were celebrating, and I, I don't know, I just felt like this was gonna be different. So about 24 hours passed, and then the first sale came in. And I was sitting in my room, I didn't even tell DJ this, I was sitting in the room, I was pacing around for hours because I finally figured out that it was possible. After all the hardship and success, I really realized that it was possible to make money online, to build a business from nothing. So after that, we went even harder into everything we were doing. We started meeting other people. We formed a group we called the Entrepreneur Trap House. And the whole goal was not only to teach people how to be successful, but even sell these skills and services to other people. We start creating multiple products. We start creating multiple things that could help people be successful. But what was more important was after all this, after going through all this from remembering back in the day when I was sleeping on the floor, remembering back in the day when I just had no money, remembering back in the day when I was broke with no way to be successful, I finally not only just figured out a way to get my own freedom, but to help other be people be successful. Walking up to the office right now, um, we're scaling, so. Um, I'm just getting here to show y'all what's going on. So about a year ago, I started a company called Cuts for Kids. We uh, cut adults' hair because kids' hair. But the whole theme of it was to get like the the kids to come for free. You know what I mean? And then they'll bring their dads and stuff like that. So that's how I built this place up. We have scaled one of our online programs so big that uh, I no longer have to do this anymore. So. I'm packing it up, man, and I'm just saying farewell, so. <sighs> Wait to the ESPN the radio view. ESPN radio interview. Like, literally, we just were hanging out this guy last night, the club, popping tons of bottles. He had a great time. He's like, oh, man, I need to be around these guys more often. And he's doing incredible things, too. And, and that's what we're noticing is that literally anybody in this city that's doing something impactful here in Houston, that's doing something on, on the next level, they're all all gravitating toward this side. I am the biggest promoter in the city. Throw the best parties, packed events, sold out celebrities, mansion parties, work with people like Matthew Knowles, Floyd Mayweather, the list just goes on and on and on. We're talking about half a million dollars in sales here in one year. But 
Nobody gets here just by chance. It just doesn't happen. How do you get to half a million dollar sales? How do you get to where you're popping bottles every night? You got the most beautiful women in the city. Clubs are packed, sold out, lined down the corner. People are literally blowing up my phone right now. How do you get to this level? This is, this is a million dollar formula. A million dollar formula. If you use this formula, you can make a lot of money. I remember I was sitting at my house after I moved. And I was sitting on the balcony and I was looking out. I was there alone. And I said to myself, I finally had reached a point where I have complete control over my own day. I had complete control over my life. Not only that, I had a system that could help other people control their life. I was literally living the life that I always dreamed of.